Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on Saturday the 20th of June. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, you are my God, eagerly I seek you. My soul is a thirst for you. My flesh also faints for you, as in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So would I gaze upon you in your holy place, that I might behold your power and your glory. Your loving kindness is better than life itself, and so my lips shall praise you. I will bless you as long as I live, and lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed, and meditate on you in the watches of the night. For you have been my helper, and under the shadow of your wings will I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand shall hold me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 41. Blessed are those who consider the poor and needy. The Lord will deliver them in the time of trouble. The Lord preserves them and restores their life, that they may be happy in the land. He will not hand them over to the will of their enemies. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed. Their sickness, Lord, you will remove. And so I said, Lord, be merciful to me. Heal me. For I have sinned against you. My enemies speak evil about me, asking when I shall die and my name perish. If they come to see me, they utter empty words. Their heart gathers mischief. When they go out, they tell it abroad. All my enemies whisper together against me. Against me they devise evil, saying that a deadly thing has laid hold on me and that I will not rise again from where I lie. Even my bosom friend, whom I trusted, who ate of my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. But you, O Lord, be merciful to me, and raise me up, that I may reward them. By this I know that you favour me, that my enemy does not triumph over me. Because of my integrity you uphold me, and will set me before your face for ever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, with, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and Amen. God, our Deliverer, raise up the poor and comfort the betrayed, through the one whom for our sakes became poor and whose betrayal brought our salvation. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Psalm 42. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, even for the living God. When shall I come before the presence of God? My tears have been my bread day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where is now your God? Now when I think on these things, I pour out my soul, how I went with the multitude and led the procession to the house of God with the voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who kept holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Oh, put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. My soul is heavy within me. Therefore I will remember you from the land of Jordan, and from Hermon, and the hill of Mizpah. Deep calls to deep in the thunder of your waterfalls. All your breakers and waves have gone over me. 
the Lord will grant his loving kindness in the daytime. Through the night his song will be with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, have you forgotten me? And why go I so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? As they crush my bones, my enemies mock me, while all day long they say to me, Where is now your God? Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul, and why are you so disquieted within me? O oh, put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the health of my countenance and my God. Come, Creator God, source of life. Sustain us when our hearts are heavy and our wells have run dry. For you are the Father's gift, with him who is our living water, Jesus Christ our Lord. Psalm 43 Give judgment for me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. Deliver me from the deceitful and the wicked, for you are the God of my refuge. Why have you cast me from you? And why go I so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? Oh, send out your light and your truth that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling, that I may go to the altar of God, to the God of my joy and gladness, and on the lyre I will give thanks to you, O oh God, my God. Why are you so full of heaviness, O oh my soul? Why are you so disquieted within me? Or well, put your trust in God, for I would yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Come, Creator Spirit, light and truth, bring us to the altar of life and renew our joy and gladness in Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. So the New Old Testament, we continue in Joshua, the 24th chapter, starting at the 29th verse. Now these things Joshua son of, sorry, after these things Joshua son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died, being 110 years old. They buried him in his own inheritance at Timnath Shira, which is in the hill country of Ephraim, north of the Mount of Gaash. Israel served the Lord all the days of Joshua, and all the days of the elders who outlived Joshua and had known all the work that the Lord did for Israel. The bones of Joseph, which the Israelites had brought up from Egypt, were buried at Shechem, in the portion of ground that Jacob had bought bought from the children of Hamor, the father of Shechem, for one hundred pieces of money. It became an inheritance of the descendants of Joseph. Eleazar, son of Aaron, died, and they buried him at Gibath, the town of his son Phineas, who had been given him, which had been given him in the hill country of Ephraim. Thus says our God, I will comfort you, you shall see, and your heart shall rejoice. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad for her, all you who love her, says the Lord. Rejoice with her in joy, all you who mourn over her, for you may drink deeply with delight from her consoling breast. For thus says our God, you shall be nursed and carried on her arm. As a mother comforts her children, so I will comfort you. You shall see and your heart shall rejoice. You shall flourish like the grass of the fields. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Thus says our God, I will comfort you. You shall see and your heart shall rejoice. New Testament reading from Luke, the 12th chapter, beginning at the 49th verse. 
I came to bring fire to the earth, and how I wish it were already kindled. I have a baptism with which to be baptised, and what stress I am under until it is completed. Do you think that I have come to bring peace to the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, five in one household will be divided, three against two and two against three. They will be divided. Father against son, son against father. Mother against daughter, daughter against mother. Mother-in-law against daughter-in-law, and daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. He also said to the crowds, When you see a cloud rising in the west, you immediately say, It's going to rain. And so it happens. And when you see the south wind blowing, you say, There will be a scorching heat. And it happens. You hypocrites. Do you know how to interpret the appearance of earth and sky? But why do you not know how to interpret the present time? And why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? Thus, when you go with your ancestor before a magistrate, on the way, make an effort to settle the case, or you may be dragged before the judge, and the judge hand you over to the officer, and the officer throw you in prison. I tell you, you will never get out until you've paid the very last penny. Your salvation is near to those whom fear you. What glory may dwell in our land? Your salvation is near to those who fear you. What glory may dwell in our land? Mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. What glory may dwell in our land? Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Your salvation is near to those who fear you that glory may dwell in our land. The Benedictus. Shine on us, O God, who dwell in darkness, and guide us into the way of peace. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who's come to his people and set them free. He's raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to repair his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Shine on us, O God, who dwell in darkness, and guide us into the way of peace. Let us pray. That this and all our days may be full of your praise, we pray to you, O Lord. That you will keep us this day without sin, we pray to you, O Lord, that we may walk before you in the paths of righteousness and peace. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will bless your people and lift them up forever. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will guide and protect us by your Holy Spirit and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. We pray to you, O Lord. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God in a few moments of silence.
Amen. The Collect for today. O God, the strength of all those who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayers, and because through the weakness of our mortal nature we can do no good thing without you, grant us the help of your grace, that in the keeping of your commandments we may both please you in will and deed, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you have as good a day as is possible. And we'll see you tomorrow for our 10 o'clock Sunday service and Zoom coffee at 11. And then morning prayer again on Monday. Goodbye.